Welcome back to Just Drinking. This week we've got Don Pancho Origenis Reserva, because that's how you say it. <laughs> yeah, baby. We have the Don Pancho the Origins. Coming right at you. And what are we laughing at over there? Because I can't say it correctly. I don't know how you pronounce it. Ori it's the Origins is what it means, yep. but it's Origenis. Origi Origenis. That's, that's French. That sounds very yeah, French-like. Yeah. French accent. French or Italian. Italian, maybe. Yep, you might be right there. French Italian. Right? French Italian. Yeah. It's my favorite kind of dressing. There you go. So we have... A <laughs> I don't know how to exactly say it, but I know it's the Origins, right? Yep. This is an elegant looking bottle. It is. I think it's very, very sharp. elegant. I love this square. Yeah. Got the sleek corners carved down here. Yeah. It looks very, very nice. Very Tall, sleek. sophisticated. Okay, this is what I imagine very nice. like the president of your local like billiards club would drink. Yeah. At their billiards matches. There <laughs> This is called getting a little blurry. This is just <laughs> it's getting a little blurry. This is blurry. the art of the show, okay? We build a picture right. of this great rum, okay. right? Now everybody's picturing this elegant billiards player drinking Not a pool this hall, rum. but no, a billiards. billiards. Okay. It's way better, way okay. fancier, yeah. okay? Pool hall. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Okay, I got you. So at the billiards hall, <laughs> big difference. Huge. Huge difference. Huge difference. difference. They're going to they're going to bring this out. They're going to say, "Yep. We got some nice stuff here." Yes, that's right. right. This is the kind of stuff you get at a billiards Billiards oh. match. All right. right. So this is aged eight years. Don Pancho himself was really excited about it. We love Don. He's a great guy. Yes, I yep. know it's not his real name, but we're going to call him Don today. We know how this works on this show. Well, if mean, you're new to the show, I'm Robert. I'm Royer. And we do your fun rum reviews to let you guys know what these great rums are actually like. Yep. This is a it's premium Panama. Pan no, it's Panamanian rum. Get not, it right. Not to be confused with Pandemonium. Right. It's Panamanian <laughs> rum. Yes. <laughs> Handcrafted Just by me. El Maestro Renero himself. Not Don, but that guy. Yes. Yes. Don's busy. He's a busy guy, right? So the American in American white oak barrels, it's aged eight years. This is a 40%, 80 proof, and dang, does it look good. It does look it it does. It just looks really refined, stylish. It looks good. Now you know what we have to do before we open the bottle. What's that? We have to read this amazing story okay. on the back because well, this ought to be clearly fun. my reading of this bottle has already gone well. So I'm really looking forward this to how well be, I can nail it. This ought to be interesting. Nail Everyone the back. take notes. We're gonna learn a lot today. <laughs> Francisco Don Pancho Fernandez has handcrafted the world's finest rums for 50 years. Originally from Cuba, he learned the art. He learned, he learned himself something today. Yes, I. Hmm. That makes sense to me. He learned himself something. He learned Already. the art of rum. That sounds so wrong in my mouth. <laughs> he learned the art of rum making from the legendary maestro Reneros in the 1960s. Now, at the age of 75, Don Pancho is celebrating his career with the best rum he's ever made. Well, I like the sound of that. Wow. That sounds really good. The eight-year-old Origins Reserva is unmistakably a Don Pancho rum. You can't mistake it for any other rums. You can't. It's impossible. That's good to know. The exquisitely smooth and deep flavors reveal candid dates, figs, dried plums, and old leather. Bam. These are the kind of rums that fascinate me because they oh, have yeah. no appetizing, like, flavors. But well, when you, you don't get find, into the, You don't find leather appetizing? And if you read this on the bottle, it's going to turn a lot of people off. But what people don't know is these flavors are actually awesome in a bottle of they rum. Are. This, it jokes aside, yes. these flavors can be absolutely awesome, even though it sounds weird. Like, I don't want old, strappy leather. And that's what stops people actually, from buying rum. Yes, you do. So we are going to crack it open. We're going to try it out and tell you exactly what we're talking about. Royer, All right. Let's get this bottle crack open. Crack this baby open. Okay, minimal little, pop. Middle minimal pop. Are we, okay, it popped. Right. Slight pop. Now, as Royer's pouring, make sure that if you guys love rum and you want to learn about all kinds of new rums, that you guys are hitting that subscribe button, slamming the thumbs up, leaving us comments, and join it every single week. We're live on Wednesdays, and we got new reviews every single week for you guys. So make sure that you guys are being a part of the community. The Facebook group is down there as well. We would love to have you. And thanks for being here drinking rum with us. Hmm. So I don't know about the flavors on the back yet, but right. what I can tell you off of this is the American wood oak barrels stand out in the smell Very greatly. Like you, you get a majority of that nice oak scent. Um, which is really nice. I think it's going to be a really nice barreled rum. That's kind of what I'm gathering. Uh, I'm interested to see how sharp this one's. Eight year age. We'll see. Eight years aged. Yep. yep. Eight years in the making. In the making. Oh, wow. Oh. That is very unique. That is very unique. That wasn't what I was expecting. You smell, I, yeah. you smell so much of that oak barrel, American oak barrel. Yeah. But the flavor goes all over once you sip it. Yeah, it it's got a nice aftertaste to it. It has this deep, rich aroma that's more like, it, it, I think the American oak is the first thing you taste, but then it starts to blend into some more of that. You can get kind of the, the, the date leather. plum um, kind of aspect. And yep. then I think it finishes with the leather. Yep, I, get, I, I get a leathery finish, which really just means it's got this nice dry sensation um, that comes into a nice natural, like a little bit lighter of a wood tone is, is kind of how I would explain that leather flavor, at least in my eyes. And uh, I think it's pretty smooth. I mean, I think it goes down pretty well. This does go, it goes down very, very well. 
that I'm really impressed with this bottle of rum. You that know, is. I really get this. The one extra thing that I get that I really feel is like, I know we've had some rums that are kind of like stone distilled when they, they do it with like stones. Oh, yeah. They, they filter it through stones. It feels like it has some of that natural filtering through it. Like you can tell the rum has touched very natural flavors, feels very natural, goes down easy. It's a little dry. It's on the dry side for you smooth, sweet rum drinkers. I know you guys know how I like to drink it. It is a little dry, but I do think it's very it's a, flavorful. It's a little dry. I would say a medium heat to yeah, it. Yeah, I, I would say probably a medium heat for you. It might be a little bit higher for that for some people who are just starting out, but I think it's a great sipping rum. I, it I think is a great sipping rum. As far rum. as sipping it right now, I'm pretty happy with it. I great cigar, this, I, food great rum. Cigar. Excelente. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm learning all kinds of things today. <laughs> I am pumped. <laughs> this is a whole learning experience for it me. It is a learning experience. I know. All right. So now we obviously know how it tastes on its own. Let's get it into a mixed drink. We're going to put it into a backyard rum mixer. So you guys know we're doing Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi for yep. you guys at home who are like, no. Don't we, do that. We do it with every rum. I don't care how expensive it is. I don't care nope. how nice it is. And I don't care how cheap it is. We do it because we know a lot of people just getting to experience rum for the first time are going to do this. Yeah. So we want to let you know the general mixability. You're probably going to be able to find better cocktails as you experiment with it. But if you're a backyard rum drinker, can this one hold into a mixed drink just as a, a pop mixer? So we're going to find out. We'll find out. I even broke out the really nice ice. This is clear ice. You made clear ice. Just for this. This is amazing. Auspicious occasion. Auspicious. There's the word uh -huh. again. Auspicious. That's our Just favorite word. Just for this word. auspicious occasion. Clear I ice. The nice ice. I think we're going to have to make a video on how you made this. It's so fancy. I know, right? I love it. It's pretty cool. My ice is gone. It's disappeared. It's disappeared. It's clear. Can't I feel so again. fancy. I know, right? Oh, I need a dinner jacket. <laughs> Now I'm in this nice rum, this ni and here I am in my Iowa sweatshirt down here, my cat sweatshirt. Yep. Yes, I'm feeling very, very underprepared for this fine, delicious, <laughs> auspicious occasion. Here we go. Wow. I, I'm impressed. I think this mixes really well in the Diet Coke. Yeah? What do you think? I think it's fantastic. I love it. It's got that nice wood barrel -y. Seems uh, like it's almost a great, it, it tones down the, the sharpness of yep. that dryness that you get. And all you really pull out is those awesome flavors. Again, it sticks with that woody note. It goes into a little bit of that fig to plum, kind of that middle ground. And then it ends with that leathery note. But as it blends into this, the sweetness of the pop actually just takes out all that dryness and you just capture all that flavor. It's amazing. It's it, fantastic. It is, it, is, it is amazing. This is a way nice mixed drink. I mean, making a Cuba Libre with this, adding yes. a slice of lime. Yep. I think you're going to be one happy, happy individual if yeah, you're pouring baby. this. You're not going to be disappointed. I like nope. it. I think nope. it's fantastic. I think you definitely should go out and try and find yourself a bottle. Check it out. How much do you think we spent on this bottle? I think it's a pretty nice bottle of rum. Looks nice. Don seems <laughs> like a great guy. I've learned a lot today. Learned a lot. I've learned a lot. Yep. And so I feel like I'm going to put it at a $55 bottle of rum for the educational experience. Well, that you're a little high. Am I a little high? You are a little high. Okay. We spent about $35. Wow, that is incredible. Okay. Right? So but it's... we've seen this before, though. Some of the best rums that we experience are between that $30 and $40 mark. I think you find a lot of the cheaper, not like rums that are made on a little bit more of a budget, it gets under that, right? Right. Um, but as you get into craft rum and people doing things, it starts to bump $30 and beyond. And then as you're between that $30 to $40 mark, you hit this sweet spot. And then once you get beyond $40, you really have to develop a palate for some of the ones that oh, get yeah. beyond that because they start being very unique and in particular. Particular. And so you're not necessarily, just because you spend a lot of money on a rum, doesn't mean you're getting the greatest no, experience, it does, right? it does not mean that at all. In fact, we've had some very expensive rums. That we didn't like. That we did not like as well as a $25 bottle of rum. Right. 35 bucks. I'm super pumped. I think value on this is absolutely incredible. I would be so fancy. You know how much my friends will learn? They're <laughs> going to do so much learning with me. Okay. I'm not letting so, it go. Just so everyone knows, on the back of this, it does it does use that word learnt. Learnt. He learnt the art of rum making from the legendary masters, you know. It, I need to go back to English class. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know half the English words, I swear. We don't I'm, even know our own I'm language. I'm not sure. So we're it's just, probably not, how we're you just say not used to that here in Iowa. It's probably, in I, over here in the cornfields, <laughs> we do not speak that way. <laughs> <laughs> we digress. Wow, we're we apologize. We, I really hope we are not offending anyone out there. We do not intend to offend anybody no. except ourselves. We're just making fun of ourselves. Really? That's all we are That's doing. really what we, we are like. Yes. So, anyway. How would you rate this? How would I rate this? On right. its own. On its own, as a sipper, yes. I'm going to give this one a solid seven. Yep. I, I agree. Solid, I solid seven here as well. I think it's a solid rum. I like the flavor. It's a little dry for my liking. I could use some improvement there. That's because I'm a sweet, smooth rum guy. I feel like for you, you like that drier, bold flavor. You know, I think a lot of people I think are we both really like it the same amount. But for different reasons. Different reasons, right? yep. As a mixed drink. As a mixed drink. As a mixer. I'm going to give it a nine. I think it's great. I actually love the way this one blends. I would have this with a cigar. I would have this with a steak. Uh, I, I would love to have a nice meal with this. I think some of those meaty uh, kind of foods that you're going to get into for dinner, I think it would be awesome. And I would love to sit back and, and enjoy this one all night. I love it. Nine out of ten. 
I'm gonna bring this up to an eight and a half. Oh, because you not, suck. Not quite a nine. Lame. Not quite a nine, Lame. but it is it is very, very good. It is very good. So so you're just not gonna go up as high because you're just not nope. as cool. Yep, wow. I'm just not. Don is not gonna be friends with you. I'm sure. Me he, and Don are he gonna probably be tight. won't call me anymore. He's, we're gonna be tight anymore. <laughs> you guys talk regularly now, do you? Is that right? You and Don? <laughs> Pretty much. You guys hang out? <laughs> Nightly. You know, enough rum. <laughs> yep. We're hanging out with everybody. That's why we do these videos. Because we're hanging out on with, in people's living rooms. It's kind of weird. Well, it was weird when I said it. I felt weird as I said that. That was an odd thing to say. Well, now I feel like uh, I'm invading people's space. I feel like non-disclosure needs to go in there. Like, I do not intend to be in And yet you still come over here. You never feel that way when you knock on our door. Oh, no. No, not here. <laughs> Why would I feel like that here? Ah, oh, gee, I don't know. You guys make me feel so welcome. <laughs> really? <laughs> Let's play that back. <laughs> that is Don Poncho Origins, the Origin Reserva, eight-year age. Make sure you guys check your local liquor stores, order it online, find yourself a bottle, check it for it on rumratings.com, and find yourself a bottle today. Don't take our word for it. What do we know? Go try it for yourself today. Do it. Do it today. If you guys like what we did and you want to find out how to make clear ice for yourself, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and leave us a comment of what you thought of the show, a rum you'd like us to try, or a funny story about your week because we always love hearing from you, as well as make sure you hit that link down below for the Facebook group Just Drinking After Hours, where we have all kinds of fun talking with people around the world about their rum experiences. We'd love to have you there. And with that, Royer, let's get them home safe. Always drink responsibly, never drink and drive, and no rums were harmed during the making of this video. Not at all. We'll see you next time, guys. Take care. It's my favorite part of the week. This is the favorite part of the week? Favorite part this of the right week. This right here? You bet. Not coming home to your lovely wife, but coming down well, here and sit. I mean, she is here too. This is backfiring. <laughs> you trying to get me in trouble now? No, I would never do that. I like the flavors that are in it, but it's a little dry, so I'm not going any higher than seven. So that just goes to show the versatility of this rum. All kinds of it. Really? I it's mean, like, because it's like I... Batman's utility belt over here in a rum. Exactly. It's like shark. I bet you, can, you could probably get shark repellent out of this too. Spritz a little <laughs> bit out there and then run away. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to smell the leather and be like, nope. If you guys like what we did and you want to find out how to make clear ice yourself, make sure you guys slam that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments what you thought of the, thought of the, 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 ha, huh, ha. Huh. Here we go again. We are going to do this once for real the right way. I can't sing either because I'm not talented. That's why I drink rum because it makes me feel better by myself. Yeah. yeah.